No one looks forward to the first day back at work after the holidays. The early start, rush hour traffic and all that post that needs answering. And there's one letter that some MPs will have been dreading more than the rest. It's from Sir Thomas Legg and it's demanding answers or payments over the expenses scandal. First on his hit list, Jackie Smith, who the watchdog found had clearly breached rules on second home expenses. She was ordered to apologise to the House of Commons. I want to apologise unreservedly to the House, as I have to my constituents, for wrongly claiming for the cost of films alongside my broadband and cable connection. This claim should never have been made, and as the committee notes, I paid back the claim in full as soon as it was brought to my attention. On the issue of second home allowances, the Commissioner and the Committee recognise that my London home is indeed a home. They dismiss the most usually repeated newspaper descriptions of my living arrangements, and I welcome this judgment. How embarrassing is this for you, Home Secretary? The Common Standards and Privileges Committee say they won't be taking any further action against Ms Smith, including her husband's claim for an adult film, an episode the former Home Secretary found intensely embarrassing. Gordon Brown, meanwhile, talks about the importance of politics being cleaned up. Choice words from a Prime Minister who's been ordered to repay almost £12,500, some of which was spent on cleaning his London flat and constituency home. Of course, it was Mr Brown who appointed Sir Thomas Legg to examine second home allowances. But, as he pointed out, Sir Thomas has introduced new rules retrospectively so that MPs who'd filled in their forms correctly may still have to pay. Stuart Bell, who sits on the committee which will decide whether to accept the leg inquiry, says this is unfair. Peter Manderson, meanwhile, recognises the chance for discussion. He was given a clear remit from the Members' Estimates Committee. He accepted that remit. The difficulty is he may be drawing up retrospective rules applicable to the members, and I think the members will be astonished at that. Sir Thomas Legg was asked to come in and audit claims Instead, he's not just done that, he's introduced new rules. Uh, and that, of course, will strike many MPs as unfair, but he's giving them the opportunity to discuss individual cases uh, with him uh, and reach a final view at the end of the year. Whilst both his Labour and Lib Dem counterparts have been ordered to pay up, the Tory leader David Cameron has so far escaped serious censure. I think every MP has got to take part in this. This is a very important part of cleaning up uh, our politics, sorting out the mess of the House of Commons. So everyone should take part. Everyone should respond to these letters, respond to the inquiries that are being made. And, of course, at the end of this process, then everyone will have to comply uh, with what the authorities are asking. I've decided uh, to send to the Inland Revenue a cheque. which is Some MPs have already made a big show of repaying money. Many others are standing down at the next election. But the overriding feeling is still that the system was flawed from the beginning, a fact that has angered Westminster and now sees some MPs planning legal action. Whilst it's been a summer of revelations like duck houses, dry rot and moat cleaning, it's clear the expenses scandal is not going away.